Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. And I wanted to get up here and share with you guys some wonderful happy mail that I got. Today is Wednesday. I think it's the 10th maybe. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But anyway, I got this on Monday. And uh, I wanted to get up here and do a video then. But I have been um, not feeling very well at all. I've been having some uh, issues with a tooth <laughs> and so it's been giving me all kinds of trouble and I finally had to break down and go to the dentist yesterday and I got a pull so you can you can probably see that I still look like a, a chipmunk <laughs> it's still swollen on the side there and and I've got a horrible headache and so I'm trying to deal with it without having to take anything but I guess I'm gonna to have to break down and take some because it'll probably knock me out but anyway I'm, and I wanted to get up here and make this video because like I said I am super excited about this and I'm gonna try not to cry I feel myself already wanting to tear up about it but it's by a sweet sweet person that um, <laughs> got a hold of me um, well, let me let me start over. Let me say it got started mostly. She's one of my favorite designers, and uh, as you guys know, I uh, absolutely adore Olive from Stringy Ding Ding. I love her patterns. I've I've uh, Olive used to have a YouTube channel, and that's whenever I first learned of Olive. But then she put off her energy towards being a designer, and she is a wonderful, awesome designer. I love all of her amigurumis that she's ever made. And, and now, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I told hubby I was doing a video, but I guess he forgot and he needed me to help him with a vehicle. I guess I'll put my glasses back on. <laughs> but anyhow, I kind of forgot where I was at. Um, anyway, all of, um, I think I was telling the story about the book, um, Y'all, if y'all remember, I made a comment one time, if Olive ever came out with a book, I would uh, definitely be getting one. Well, it wasn't too long after that, she had emailed me, and I think it was about the time when uh, I had made that the first big ghost, and she was asking if she could put it in the uh, her newsletter, and then I think that's when she said something about uh, a book. She uh, had watched my video, and I had commented, and she was like, wow, you know, I'm in the process of it. <laughs> And so I was super excited about it and couldn't wait to be able to get my hands on it. And so with that being said, she sent me one and I am so excited. I got it Monday and like I said, I wanted to do it then, but I wasn't feeling good. And so I finally finished up a couple of things today that I'm going to share with you guys at the very end that's pertaining to all of this. But anyway, I'm going to show you it came in this cute bag and it's got her name on there stringy ding ding and it's got a cute sticker on here if i can i'll show it to you it says do not crush bend or fold but my mailman did <laughs> luckily it had a cardboard in there in my mailbox it's to give him credit it's not very big but it was kind of folded and whenever i seen it i was like uh but it came out fine but anyway I couldn't wait to open it because I knew since I want to be doing a review on it, I knew I had to make something out of it. And uh, and it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this book. Oh my goodness. The colors on it, I love it. It is so cute. And it's got, it says plenty of fish in the sea and it's got 20 amigurumis in there that you can make. Now, I am pumped about making each and every one of them. And I have made one on here. Um, one of them and then I'm uh, going to turn my attention toward another one on here pretty soon <laughs> and so and I'll tell you which one that is in a minute and then th the colors on the back are awesome look at that I mean it is just beautiful I love this and what I really like about it too it's spiral I mean you can open this thing up and you can bend it you know how most books when you open them up and if they haven't been, you know, opened up quite a bit, they'll want to shut and all that and stuff. With this one, I mean, you can just take it and just fold it over. And there you go. 
without messing up your book. I love that. I love this. And so, anyway, let me get to the first here. Here's one of the first pages in it. It's right here. And this right here is the one I really want to get it and make. <laughs> it's so cute. And then you got here's where she's talking about it. Talking about doing, giving you a little bit of information. And if I can get and these are all the designers that have uh, people that uh, pattern testers that she is thinking on here aren't they cute I love the way you done that all of it is so cute <laughs> oh my goodness and then you got all let me open my book back up here I'll just have to bear with me it's just one of those days <laughs> here they all are inside the book Oh, I just think it's so cute. Getting started. And uh, tells you all the materials and stuff. What page. It tells you what page everything is on. Table of contents. And then. Here. Tells a little bit about her. And also it says down here. Um. You know, if you're crocheting for the first time and all that, she's got a video down here. She has a free detailed video down here that shows you how to crochet for absolute beginners. And she's got it down here where you can go to her website and watch it. So I think that's cool. And let me see here. She's got the crochet terms in here. Um, yeah, all the crochet terms. Okay, Find too many pages there. And there was something else. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look at this. And then you, she's got it like this where you get started going into the book. Let's see here. I guess I could speed it up a little bit. <laughs> I think I skipped a couple of pages here. I know it's in here somewhere. The one thing I wanted to... She shows you everything that you need to make it. The materials. Oh, here we are. Crochet abbreviations. It's in the U.S. terms. And it's also... I believe it was in uh, using the uh, British terms. U.K. So, I think that's cool, too. So, that is really, really neat. Right here. And then you got all the patterns back here. Now, I'm going to share with you the one I ended up doing so I could uh, give the review on the book. Everything in here is detailed down. I mean, it shows you everything to know how to do it, how to do a, a, a decrease, all of that. If you'll go up on her website, I've always been so drawn to her website because everything is so... It's neat and it's in order and she gives you great detail on how to do, you know, in, you know, the decreases and, you know, and, you know, how to change colors and, you know, and color change and stuff like that. It's just a very inviting website to go to and it's just lots of pictures and, I mean, it's just, I love it. And this book, it is awesome. Well, let me see if I can find the one. I guess I need to go to the front where it has the table of contents where it tells me. <laughs> and it is right here. Now, whenever I first seen what this was, and I guess I could tell you guys the name of them. I'm kind of all over the place here. I'll start with this one, and then I'll go back and tell you the name of some of these. This one is called Dumbo Octopus. Now, I've never heard of one, so I Googled it. And sure enough, there is a Dumbo octopus it was named after the um, I guess it's Disney the Dumbo because of the floppy little ears that Dumbo had and this, and this octopus has ears that do hang down in front of their face how cool is that I did not know that so <laughs> that's you know cool so that's what I ended up making whenever I got the book and I'll show you and there's a little spider crawling on it already <laughs> And here he is. I think he turned out so cute. And I love the size of it, too. That's perfect. 
but uh, I just used, I think it was some Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, some kind of pink that I had. I don't have the label anymore. But these would be so cute done up in all different colors, but I love this. And so that's the one that I ended up making out of it. And like I said, the instructions are just, they're perfect. And so let me go back and tell you the name of these critters here. I got ahead of myself. You got the octopus, the whale, the clownfish, a crab, a mermaid. Uh, a manatee, an ice cream norwal. I don't think I've ever made a norwal. I need to. A squid. I've I don't, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of these I've never made before. A fish and a starfish. And then you got the seahorse and a shark and a puffer fish, a turtle. And then you got your clam down here and a whale shark. And I don't know how to say that word. What is that? A axolotti? I don't know. I've never... I've never... I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> this is my first time, so it's cute. And a dolphin, and the Dumbo octopus, and the jellyfish. And speaking of jellyfish, now right now she's got a crochet along. When you go to her website, you can actually get the PDF download uh, for free right now. And I wrote it down here. You can get it for free till uh, November the 21st, and she's having a crochet along where... Uh, you there's going to be uh, some prizes in the crochet along where she's giving away like some project bags I believe some crochet hooks stitch markers and then three copies of this book and so you still got time to go do it go uh, to her website and she and I'll put a link down below to the uh, crochet along to where you can get the book and to her website and let me show you the little jellyfish it is so cute I've never made a jellyfish before, so I'm going to make one. Look at that. I just love the detail in the pictures. Such a pretty book. It is. All of you, you are such an inspiration. And I am so proud of you for make, to, you know, make your first amigurumi book. Wow. It is amazing. And on the back here, she's got, if she could ask you for a quick favor, to go give her a review whenever you get the book or when you, you know, make one of her patterns and stuff like that, just give her a review because the more people that see it, the more it'll get out there, you know, when you do a review because, you know, when you leave one, a good review for her, then people will look at it and say, okay, the, I'm going to go with this and I'm going to, I'm going to make one of them. <laughs> you know, I like that review because they really understood it and, and they, you know, if they had any problems, she's there to help, give you the information that you need. Because, like she says, you're, she's only one email away, you know, if you have any issues. And so, like I said, this book is wonderful. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. And it's, uh, yeah, keepsake. This will be mine. I'll keep it for the rest of my life. And I love it. And I thank you so much, Olive. I'm trying not to cry because what you've done is super sweet. And not only that, guys, she said, she had mentioned to me about doing a giveaway, and I, I was like, you betcha. So, with that being said, I told her that what I would like to do, she's wanting to give away a book. And what I wanted to do was pick a couple out of here and do like a little kit like I did whenever I had my giveaway the one time with the bunny. So, that's what I did. I went in here and I picked out a couple of amigurumis, which you can make out, you know, make whichever ones you want. But I picked out... The one that I'm wanting to make right there. I picked out, now I didn't have the exact colors, but I picked out what I, you know, could. And I'll show you here in a minute. One of this one, and I think, you know, like I said, you can make any of them. I mean, I, I got some in there that you could make that one, or I done forgot. Oh, and this one here, the one I made. And so, I'm going to show you guys what I got for you to uh, make kind of chilly out here right now okay got it over here in my bag now the, the one thing I thought of okay it, it, you need a project bag so I had bought this fabric actually whenever I uh, first heard about the book because we had talked about it and I thought I'm going to make a project bag because I you need a project bag to put your uh Amy's in while you're working on it. So I seen this at Walmart and I thought that's the perfect fabric I think to make you know to make this project bag. Now, 
hold on a second. And sorry about that. I was getting a call. Um, anyway, you'll be getting this. I made this uh, yesterday, I think it was. I, after I got home from the dentist's office, I thought, I need to finish that project bag. <laughs> but anyway, so I made this project bag. And that'll be part of the giveaway because you got, like I said, you got to put your Emmys in there. And it's a perfect size, you know, when you're working on one, you can just drop it down in there, whatever yarn you're using. And I thought the print was pretty. I made that to go with it. And then I sat down this morning and made this little notions pouch that you can put in it. <laughs> Fabric to match. And on the inside of it here, I have a crochet hook. To go with it and it is a 4.2 millimeter hook now I was trying to find a four but I couldn't find one at Walmart so I got this one it says it's a G and it's a boy hook and then while I was in there I realized I had a couple stitch markers that were ocean themed and so I made these up so you'll get a couple of you know, wherever my camera's at a couple of a couple of these here stitch markers which is blowing out. There's that one. And this one here is the mermaid. <laughs> thought it was so cute. So you'll get a couple of them. I'll put those back in here before I forget them. And then, um, let me see if I can. You've got to have some stuffing for your uh, amigurumis when you make it. So I'll put some in here. Now I'll flatten this out so it'll fit in the bag better than being all puffed out right now <laughs> and then I've got some safety eyes in there for you actually let's see there's one two three I think four sets in here I go there's some safety eyes <laughs> that you could use and then the yarn that I picked out now what I thought I would go with is whenever I seen the girl I thought oh well, she's got the you know, she's got the green and that teal looking color and uh, her uh, a skin tone there is like a tan and then the red hair and then her uh, top is purple. Well, I went with what I had. I picked up two of these here that you could use and then I thought that would be uh, about the same color as her bottom part her fin like of the mermaid and then I thought she'd be pretty with red hair too <laughs> so there's two of these in there and then I put some green in there and that on the phone it looks darker but it's that bright green and then I got I didn't have a light purple but I got a dark looking purple and then I put some blue in there. So, I think that's it. Yeah, and you'll get also a copy of Olive's book. Now, how I'm going to do this is, let me put all this back in here so I can keep it from falling on the ground. Now, how this will uh, work is, um, you, I will pick a winner. And whoever wins will get a copy of Olive's book and will get everything that I just showed you right there. Now, whenever you win, I will contact Olive so she can ship you the book because she'll be shipping it from where she's at. Now, and everything that I showed you here, I'll be shipping it from here from where I'm at. So that's how that's going to work. Now, I, uh, let's see here. I know I thought I wrote down the date on how long. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I thought I had it wrote down, but I didn't. Okay, today is Wednesday. It's the 10th. It will start today, and then it will end next Wednesday on the 17th, and that'll be November the 17th, uh, 2021. Um, it will end at midnight, and I will, and I'm Central Time, so it will end then, and then I will uh, announce who the winner is the next day. Now, whenever I announce the winner, you'll need to email me, and I will give you either a word or a phrase where you can come back to the comment, and you're the only one that can uh, edit it 
you know, edit it and put it in there. I can't, nobody else can. That way I know it's you and not, you know, somebody else. And then once you give me your address, I will send it to Olive and then she will ship your book out to you. Now this is open to the U.S. only and I apologize for that, but it's just because shipping is so high. Uh, you must be, um, and I'll have all the rules listed down below because I'm sure I'll, I'll forget something with this headache I have. <laughs> but anyway, um, you, um, you must be 18 years or older to participate. Um, you must follow all the guidelines that YouTube has for you to follow. Um, everything that I've showed you here, I purchased, purchased it with my own money. And, uh, she has too, the book. And, um, let's see, what are the other, oh, I'd also like for you to be a subscriber, if you don't mind. Um, I'd like it if you could, uh, like the video and share it. It's not, you don't have to, but I would like for you to be a subscriber. And you'll need to make sure that your subscription is to public and not private. Because if I pick a winner and I go and look and you're not set to public, then I'll have to pick a different winner. And so, uh, what else is there? Like and share if you can. Um, oh yeah, comment. <laughs> comment which one that you would like to try to make you know I, if you uh see one on here that you would uh, want to learn how to make which one would you like to learn how to make or you can go you know over to her website and look at hers and see which one that you think that you would like to make and just comment down below which um uh, you know amigurumi you'd like to make because like i said she's got so many amigurumis oh, i love each and every one of them there is so many that i'm i'm going to make all of them but there's some in there that I really, I'd love to, uh, I see some in there that I can use like on my throwback Thursdays. <laughs> and I need to get with it and do my throwback Thursday. But I, you know, I didn't get to do it during Halloween. And then uh, I probably won't be doing it during uh, Vlogmas. I just, and I hadn't done it yet. So this month I've been uh, busy doing other things. But anyway, back to the giveaway. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is just all over the place. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Like I said, all the rules will be listed down below. But, yeah, just go check out her her website and look at all the, uh, the amigurumis and, that you can make on there. And just make a comment down below which one you'd like to make. And, you know. So, anyway, I guess that'll be it. I'm going to hop off of here. And, Olive, I just want to say thank you so much for my book. I absolutely love this book. I cherish it. I can't wait to make everything that's in here and I'm, I'm definitely I'm gonna try to sit down tonight and make that jellyfish yeah you guys don't forget she's doing that uh that crochet line where you can go win some prizes yeah that jellyfish yeah is that I think that's him right there <laughs> oh they're so cute I just can't get over how cute they are yeah right there Go oh, check out that uh, crochet along that she's doing and, and drop in and say hi. <laughs> but anyway, thank you again, Olive, and I absolutely love it. And I guess I'm going to hop off here because now I'm going to start rambling and I'm going to go upload, or I've got to run to town and upload this video. That way you guys can um, see it and go check out her book and everything and, and, uh, all of that so anyway and then after i get home i'm gonna take me something and i'm gonna go uh, i'm gonna go go to sleep <laughs> anyway i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and i will be chatting you guys real soon <laughs>